Hey guys, it was Bambi TV guys. Can we react to LGBTQ person confront Frank and call him a bigot? Guys, let's get straight into this. Why do you, you say that if I'm going to be a Christian again, then I need to repent from being LGBTQI plus and then accept this narrow version of the gospel? That to me is like conversion therapy and the UN and all these other medical... Um, Major medical organizations in the U.S. and around the world have called that torture. So for you to stand here and to defend that, that's pretty f messed up. There is no mo objective moral standard unless some kind of God exists. Everything is just a matter of human opinion. And so when you hold up a sign that says that certain people have treated LGBTQ people wrongly, well, you're they have, and there's oh, so much oh, evidence for it. Math, so. math. You might be exactly right about that. But I you know need... I am. I have experiences and data to oh, back okay, it up. Okay, well, I'm sorry that people have treated you poorly. But you there... don't have to go on and spread these bigoted viewpoints on YouTube and Facebook like you do. It's just a bunch of misinformation. You have no idea. Mav... You have blood on your hands. Okay, Mav. Do you, do you want to have a conversation or you just want no, to... No, I really just would okay. like you to just apologize and turn around and see okay. that what you're doing is harmful. Mav... There's only harm if God exists. Harm is only evil if God exists. And so There's you're stealing- There's harm regardless if God exists right, or not. Thank you, Mav, you're not interested. Thank you for coming. I appreciate people coming here who have a different point of view, but it's gotta be a dialogue, it can't be a monologue. So. And um, I think that yes, people who identify as LGBTQ have been treated poorly. But I also think now that Christians are being treated poorly. And both of them are wrong. We ought to respect people even if we disagree with them. But that's a moral category. And respect only makes sense as a moral category if there's a moral standard beyond us. Otherwise, everything's just a matter of opinion. If somebody says gay is good, that's a matter of opinion. If somebody says gay is bad, that's a matter of opinion. You have to have a standard. My question to anybody who disagrees is what is your moral standard? If there is no God, there's no rights to anything. There's no Christian rights. There's no gay rights. There's no transgender rights. There's no human rights. It's just one person's opinion against another. And when we say we're atheists, and we start bringing moral categories into the conversation, I'm going to ask, what's the standard you're using? It turns out the standard stolen from God himself. And that's what I cover in the book, Stealing from God, Why Atheists Need God to Make Their Case. We might agree with a lot of stuff Mav said, that people have been treated immorally, but unless you have a moral standard outside of yourself that we're all obligated to obey, it wasn't really immoral. You see the point? I love when I see people like this. Like, when you want to answer a question, you calm down. You speak based on knowledge, and it's just amazing. I hope the boy was triggered, but like, it's understandable when you know, like, when you know that you have been hurt by this kind of thing, and it's more like this person is kind of advocating against you. He just used emotion. And I love the fact that he understood that he was talking from an emotion perspective, I would say. An emotional perspective. And he actually took his time and just tell him, just go. And he finished up. Like, it's, it's amazing. And the message was actually passed across. I feel if the guy was still there and listening to this, I feel he he's going to come down a bit. Like, he's going to understand that he gets where I'm coming from. I believe that everyone has the right to do what they want to do, but like, based on some certain things, like, I believe you cannot say you're a certain person and do some certain things. Like, you cannot say you're Muslim and be gay. Like, it just can't work. I know that there are some Muslims who identify as gay, and if you ask the Muslim community, they will say they are no Muslims. Like, that's just it. Okay, I think what you think about this, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Press.